Let's have a look at some Focal Utopia speakers, shall we? So, this bunch of gubbins that you can see on my desk is the Focal Utopia M line, all of it. Um, the sub, the eight inch mid bases here, the six inch mid bases, the mid ranges, four sets of the tweeters and other units that we've got here. But yeah, this is their uh, it's not brand new, it's been out a few months now. It's a dealer only thing, uh, so it's not like a click to buy product, it's a specialist product. But I'm going to run through the prices, I'm going to open a couple of units, I'm probably going to open the 8s, the 6, and, and maybe the tweeters and, and give, you a, give you a look at them because they're quite a, a special looking thing. They're um, certainly a special sounding thing. So, yeah, let's have a look at the 8 inch mid bass. Now, this is a these are 649 each so it's a 12 near on 1300 pound set of mid bases but you'll have to bear with me because i'm going to try and do all this sitting down <clears throat> comes with some free dust in the box i don't know if you can see that properly that's it the 8wm it's a 100 watt nominal speaker uh, and it's a 4 ohm driver. That's in there. Super light, rigid cone that they're kind of known for, focal with their Utopia drivers. Lovely cooling, lovely basket. You almost want to mount them the wrong way around, you know? Well, there is no wrong way, but you almost want to mount them backwards, you know? But yeah, that's the 8-inch mid-bass driver. Good for um, Porsche, good for uh, VW, Audi, the sort of 8 to 10 driver holes, stuff like that. Um, and decent on a baffle in, in most cars, really. One thing I note about these is they're, um, they're relatively shallow, so you can get away with putting them in places you usually can't get away with putting them, you know? Most of the time it's the depth we have an issue with, not the actual diameter of the driver. So good for tight spaces, which you don't often find with a high-end piece of kit, uh, high-end eight-inch mid-base anyway. In here, again with plenty of cardboard dust, is the six, the Utopia six-inch mid-base driver. It's like Christmas, isn't it? All this. Nice, anyway. Nice bit of presentation there. One forward, one backwards. Lovely little, little bit of string to take that one out. And then that's it. Effectively a scaled down version of the eight. Exactly the same design, the same cone, and it looks to me like the same diameter voice coil. So decent motor on that for a six inch driver. And I would imagine the specs would be very similar as well. But we'll have a look at the back because I've not fully read through any of these yet. So you're getting it as I'm getting it really. We've got a few of them uh, installed, but the systems aren't set up and ready to go yet. So um, <clears throat> again, a four ohm driver, 100 watt speaker. It's 200 watt max if you want to do that. We, we usually give them three or four times a recommended max power and then you get all that sort of snap and bang and damping that we need for a high-end driver. That's the sixes. Put them there. Uh, we'll do the tweeters. The three is just the same as all the rest of them. They look exactly the same, it's just a tiny, tiny version. 
And this is the Utopia Beryllium tweeter. This is where, you know, this is the, the sort of most legendary part of uh, the Utopia lineup. They're incredible. I'll come round and show you. <clears throat> Again, a shallow mount. So, you know, a pillar. All others that are in the in the line with this. So all other high-end drivers, high-end tweeters in the say in the say the thousand pound category come with large motors or large face plates to lower their resonant frequency or other other sort of tricks and things that they need as a uh, as a high-end driver it kind of becomes more of a uh, function over form thing and that makes it sometimes difficult to install with these as I've uh, excuse me can't be dealing with dust French dust everywhere. Um, as I've explained, the um, the depth of them, they're, they're not designed as a shallow driver and they're not badged as a shallow driver or it's not part of their marketing that they're of minimal depth. But uh, they are, they are shallow. I mean, that's a, you know, to have mid bases in there front to back in a box that slim, you know you're gonna deal with a shallow driver, especially with the protection that's in there um, but the tweet is the same. So typically in a build like this, you will be doing uh, a door build or a kick build. Um, you'll certainly be doing a sail or an A-pillar build. Um, and those shallow depths allow you to get really sort of cute with your installation. Uh, you know, <clears throat> if I could get away with staging this, the, the way that our systems do with the fabrication that, that we build without having any fabrication, without having anything on display, th then I would. That's my preference, but you can't. You know, the natural driver placement is super important. Um, and these being the depth that they are will allow you to get them on those angles, in those locations, but not take up huge amounts of space and depth and not be hitting pillars and stuff like that, you know? So, yeah. These are all here, they're all in stock. Come and get them fitted, all right? Just as a brief one, I'll run through the prices with you. We're at, so these, 999.99, so a thousand quid for the tweeters, that's them. The threes are 600 pounds for the set, that's these, so that'll come as a pair, 300 pounds each. They're all sold individually, so they're not sold as a pair. The six is 949, that's these. So basically a thousand quid. Um, and the eight's 1299 for the pair. So if we're gonna put a three way together of the threes, the eights, uh, and the, the tweeters, 29. So around 2,900 pounds for uh, an eight, a mid range and a tweeter uh, for one of the best three way kits that money can buy. So yeah, like I say, Porsche, VW, Audi, stuff like that, they all use relatively similar fitments to what the, or what whatever we usually put together out of an eight, a three or four, and a tweeter. Anything else, you know, relatively simple installation, but it might be a little bit more, a uh, little bit more technical than say your VAG and Porsche and stuff like that. So if you're looking at this level of speaker, the installation shouldn't really matter to you, you know, and we'll advise on how they should be going in the car. So I hope you like the Utopia M line. I've put in the description below everything that you need to see them, see more on them. I'm not gonna go into the techie, geeky stuff it, when it's all written down in black and white for you to have a look at. You know, they'll do a better job than I do. So um, yeah, have a look at that. Um, if you're watching and you aren't subscribed, please just give us a subscribe. We, we aren't gonna fill your feed with rubbish. It'll usually be videos like this or some fun videos on the cars or some hi-fi videos if you're into stuff like that. Um, I'm Carl and this is Studio In Car and these are the Focal Utopia M. The full set, all right? Take it easy.